What is going on YouTube world? I'm your brother Reza, this is your sister Kat, and we are KRT Life. KRT Life with the Y, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and all those beautiful and wonderful things. Today's vlog is all about what do you do when your Nespresso Virtue Machine finally kicks the bucket. So right here is our one of our favorite family members. It is the Nespresso Virtual Machine in Red. We got I think this, this is called Virtual Plus because they have different virtuals. Yeah, they got a bunch of them. They all got these weird names, but this is the one that we've had for the last what? Almost four years. Almost four years. We got it by well, we didn't get it by accident, but we stumbled upon Nespresso by accident. We uh Took an amazing trip to Iceland. If anybody's mm -hmm. interested, there's a vlog in our yep. channel about it. But uh, on the way back, we were stopping at Airbnb mm -hmm. for one night in Baltimore. And the Airbnb had a smaller version, not the virtual, but the original line uh, Nespresso machine. So we mm -hmm. made coffee out of it and we both were like, wow, that coffee tasted amazing. Yeah. And it was so simple and so quick with really nothing to wash or clean mm -hmm. it was just awesome so we started you know as we came home we started doing research and uh, i said yeah we need one of these <laughs> yep so we ended up with this guy mm -hmm. and this is an espresso machine made by delonghi yep uh, i don't we... think they do it like that anymore i think they're just made they're branded with for espresso and i'm no longer delonghi but i'm not having this issue. well uh, uh, when i bought it we bought it from amazon i believe there were different brands making nespresso machines uh -huh. i don't know if that's still a thing but when i got this one i got it off of amazon and i want to say i paid somewhere around 120 130 dollars mm. for it because it was some kind of sale something else whatever so yeah it came with like a machine and a starter pack where you give you a bunch of samples so you can try out all the capsules they have yeah since then this was our you know uh, interaction with this thing was daily multiple mm -hmm. times a day never had any issues we yeah. cleaned it on time they scaled it on time everything was awesome but was making great coffee i mean that's three people having several cups of coffee a day, a day for four years so i mean you could just do the maths on that yeah and the savings versus going to starbucks but uh as you were like alluding to all good things must come to an end and uh, i believe it was last saturday yeah. i made a cup of coffee in the morning and once it finished my coffee, the light turned red and it stayed red. And I've never seen that before. Machine wouldn't open and to touch, it was extremely hot. So after minimal research, it says, okay, you need to unplug it, let it cool, plug it back in, see if it works. If it doesn't, uh, you're pretty much out of luck at that point. So it did not work after every, all the steps they were taking. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we decided well, we panicked and we ran to the store and bought another one. So let me go ahead and grab the other one and bring it into the shot real quick so y'all can see the other one that we got. And then we can give y'all some advice on what to do when this thing breaks. All right, and with the movie magic there, we panicked and we ran out and we just bought this one because it was a Saturday or a Sunday when this one died and we knew we needed a new coffee machine by Monday pronto, quick and fast. So we went out and got this bugger right here. Yeah, we just, well, this time we went to the actual Nespresso Boutique in Atlanta and we just picked this one up. It was $189 plus tax, so it was like right over $200. It also Expensive. Came, yeah, it also came with a sampler pack with multiple um, pods, so you can try different flavors and so on and so on. So this one is made directly by Nespresso this time, where this one was DeLonghi. Um, overall, it's the same thing except the, the water canister. The, yeah, the water canister is bigger. It's almost twice as big when you fill it up, which actually nice because by by the time like two of us or three of us make coffee, because this thing makes different sizes of coffees, it's gone. So it's nicer to have a bigger canister. It works great and everything, but we still stuck with this broken one and. As we know, we're not the people who like to waste money, so we had to figure out what to do with this. Did we want to fix it, or what's the plan? Right, because we were going to try to keep 
you know, have to or give this one to somebody mm -hmm. else or something. So the following week, I decided to go ahead and call uh, Nespresso and this company right here and see what could be done about this machine right here because mm -hmm. it's such a nice machine that I really didn't want to go to a landfill. And uh, after talking to the customer service reps, I called the 1-800 number that I'm going to post somewhere right here. I spoke to the representative there and they said that we had two choices. We could either spend $120 and get this one fixed or they could give us a uh, coupon for 35% off. Of the price for the new machine. Yes. So. We went with the coupon. We of course went with a coupon because I mean we paid the same amount of yeah. money as they would cost us to fix it and it's an older machine. But the problem was we already bought ours. So Nespresso has a really good customer service. So you can come back and I think they give you, I want to say it's a 60 days. I can't I remember that. if it's. 30 days or 60 days, you can return right the machine, here. yes. So if something you don't like it, whatever, no questions asked, you just bring it back and they take it back. Mm -hmm. So instead of us going back with the whole machine and dragging it and packing it and carrying this huge box and say, hey, can you return this so we can just buy it right back? We just went to the store and talked to people. And luckily, the representative that was there was very very nice she helped us out she actually called additional customer service to work out the details for it but in the end we received 71 dollars and some change as a credit they could have just given us a store credit or i guess the money back if we yeah. really wanted to but we're going back to buy coffee anyway so we have 71 dollars worth of coffee coming up for free yep so that's how it worked out. Yeah. So if you're in this position, you, if you have time, you know, go ahead and talk to the customer service people mm -hmm. first before you go buy your other machine. That way you can just go ahead and get your 30, 35 or whatever they give you mm -hmm. off. Maybe they'll give you more if you push them a little bit. I wanted to push them a little bit, get 50% off, but that's another story. But anyway, <laughs> you can go ahead and get your 35% off and go ahead and buy yourself another machine if this machine dies. But it really doesn't still solve the problem of what's going to happen to this machine because yes. It's $120 to fix this machine, and I believe what's wrong with it is that the heating element has gone bad, and now this awesome thing is going to end up in a landfill, which kind of sucks, sucks, but, I mean, at least we have another one, and, um, yeah, it works great, so I don't know what to say besides that. So, if your machine dies, definitely make sure you follow the steps, because you can get yourself a nice chunk of money off, because these are not cheap machines. Nope. And that's our consumer advice for the day. We are KRT Life, KRT Life with a Y. Like, subscribe, comment, and all of that. And we will see y'all in the next vlog. And uh, yeah. That's... I'm about to go make some coffee. Yes, coffee time, because we just woke up. Alright, y'all. Yes. Peace! <laughs>